here today shooting the uh, Bursa TPR9C. You know, Bursa's been around for many years. Uh, one of the first articles I ever wrote was about the Bursa Thunder. And I've got lots of feedback from people that uh, over the years that bought that Thunder 380 and they worked just fine. I've got a few of them myself. I've got the Thunder 22s. But this is my first experience with the larger 9mm, this TPR9C. This is the compact version of the TPR. Got a little bit shorter barrel. Um, but it's a, a nice handy gun. It's a, a made out of metal, which is unusual these days for a gun that's got primarily metal, but it's got aluminum frame, uh, polymer grips. It's got a steel slide. It's got steel sights on it. You know, a lot of companies today, they're putting plastic sights on their, their pistols. This is steel. It's a good hefty gun. It's a, a weight on this thing. Let me look it up here. 27.7 ounces. Uh, empty comes with two steel 13 round magazine gives you 14 total got a good feel to it the double action pull on here the single action comes in right under five pounds and the double action is a good smooth 10 pound as smooth as it can be feels more like about eight pounds but it's a reliable gun it's a, I've tried a, every kind of nine millimeter ammo I had around here probably uh, 15 16 different types they all fed uh, perfectly Fired perfectly, ejected perfectly. No problems at all with it. It's got ambidextrous controls on it, ambidextrous decock and safety. Push it up and it will decock it. You can carry it like that, renders it inoperable, or best way to carry it, hammer down. First shot will be double action. You have a slide lock on both sides if you want to use that to drop the slide. Uh, accessory rail here on the front, good solid gun, relatively inexpensive on today's market. Uh, like I said, it's uh, had no problems with it at all. It's an accurate gun, reliable, uh, inexpensive, and uh, just hard to beat. Check them out. At, uh, uh, Eagle Imports brings them in. We'll put a link to the website on there. We'll have a spec chart with all the things on it. Uh, if you want to order one of these online, go to gallerygunns.com. Click on the Gun Genie, and you can order this online. Be shipped to your local dealer, or you'll fill out the paperwork and pick it up, or uh, find a bursar dealer near you. Go to Lipsy's.com, uh, click on the dealer finder and put in your zip code and it'll uh, show you the Bursa dealers in your area. talk a little bit about ammo for this uh, you know this thing it'll handle any nine millimeter ammo out here uh, one load I really like is this plus P plus 124 grain from Buffalo board it's a good uh, jacket hollow point really scooting out of here fast a new one on the market now it's an old name but uh, back again is Supervale uh, they're back I'm glad to see it's the Supervale name back you know Supervale uh, decades ago they pretty much pioneered the high velocity hollow points for police work and self-defense things like that because uh, they don't over penetrate the, you know, the hollow point when it hits it does more damage too but it also opens up kind of like a parachute slowing that bullet down uh, the idea is to keep keep the thing inside the body but still give you good penetration super valves back they got a nice uh, low recoil but still plus play rated uh, comes out over 1400 feet per second this 90 grain uh, jacket hollow point out of this short barrel on this gun they also got the 115 grain jacket hollow point but check out Supervale glad to see them back on the market I'm gonna shoot some of this new Supervale 90 grain jacket hollow point out of this short barrel it's running uh, uh, over 1400 feet per second but still a relative light recoil I'm going to shoot a 9mm load that I really like. It's plus P plus rated, which uh, I'm not sure if the gun, uh, the manual says plus P plus or not. I don't read the manuals a lot, but this little gun can handle it, I know. It's a Buffalo Bore load, 124 grain plus P plus. 